Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back uh, with our Unemployed to World class. Uh, it's been a while, but we're back with San Martin after our uh, Copa Libertadores win. Um, now we're at the end of the season, actually, with uh, San Martin. I've got some news to announce um, with uh, well, with San Martin, I guess. Um, but let's go through the fixtures, actually, after our Copa Libertadores. So, um, after our, our close, close win in... Uh, Olivia's against Corinthians. We went back in to a uh, sort of cup competition with the Copa Argentina, and we actually um, we had two very close games here, two nil nils with two penalty wins. First off, against Boca Juniors, we won this one five three on penalties um, after a nil nil draw, and then Velez after that in the quarter final nil nil five four on penalties. So. Um, we're we're pretty good at penalties, I have to say. Um, after that was a three nil win over Banfield. Alvarachin again with a goal. Romero and Carlos Ortiz with goals. A massive, massive five one win over Estudiantes. Uh, Pinero to Silva. Alvarachin with another uh, three goals there, and Romero with goals. We actually lost. We lost since uh, first time since May actually um, to San Lorenzo. Really, really annoying, especially seeing as we're at home as well. Um, we dominated the match as well. It was just, oh, it just wasn't going to be our day. Um, so that was a bit of annoying. But we got back onto winning ways. Uh, Godoy Cruz, a late, late winner actually from Romero after Martelli put us up 1 0. Uh, a 2 1 win over Gymnasia. Javier Borges and another late win through uh, Gustavo Boo. Um, a 6 2 win over Brown. Um, Alba Ratchin, another hat trick. Um, Javier Borges, La Rosa and Boo with the other goals for us there. Uh, a lot of high scoring games so far. 4-3 versus Argentinos Juniors. Romero, Alvarachin, Ramuzgo and Boo with goals. Another 2-1 win. Crucero del Norte. Uh, they took the lead early on but Borges and an Alvarachin winner. He has been our saviour really. He, I don't know, even know where we'd be without him and he's only alone as well. Um, gives us the win there. Uh, Belgrano. Uh, we won 2 0. Borges and Boo, two goals in two minutes, and that's it for the game. Uh, Copa Argentina semi final. Um, we won 4 0 versus San Lorenzo. A bit of uh, payback for the 1 0 um, loss there. Javier Borges with two. La Rosa, Gustavo Boo. 2 0 versus Tempoli. Gustavo Boo with both goals. Then we had the Copa Argentina final. Oh, this was just. I can't believe this. We, uh, we lost on penalties 1 1. 1-1, one, one, one. we drew 1-1, one, one. we got a goal from Gustavo Boo in the 17th minute, they scored in the 89th minute, and then they won 8-7 on bloody penalties, and we could have won it, like, it, they had, we'd scored off, like, they'd missed their last penalty, and we could have scored to take us through, and bloody La Rosa missed it, oh, god, it was such a, such a crap game, we should have won it, really, but that's the Copa Argentina, um, we're not going to win that, uh, after that, Aldo Suvivi, um, we won 3 0, Ramuzgo and Blanco with 2. Then we go and bloody beat River 4 2. So I don't know why we couldn't turn that in the final. Javier Borsha with 2, Acevedo and Alvarachin with another goal. Rosario was a 1 0 win, Marcos Pinto with a goal. 2 1 versus Colón de uh, Santa Fe. Boo and Hugo Mass with goals. Uh, Hugo Mass is actually one of our new youngsters, uh, a new, uh, well, from youth intake, uh, and he's actually quite rated quite highly. Uh, potential to be a leading Premier Division uh, attacker in the midfield um, in the future. So he's got a good future for him. So I thought I'd throw him, and he actually scored a goal, which is quite nice. And then the last game of the season, 4-3 versus Independent Diente. Carlos Ortiz, Ramirez Go, and Hugo Mass with another goal. So uh, he he definitely uh, sort of showing his worth already with a winner actually in the 91st minute. So that is the uh, league. So that is what the league stands at right now. Look at that. End of the year. Oh, there's the playoff. Um, we've won it. Last year, came second by three points. This year, we bloody smashed it. 77 points. 25 wins, two draws, three losses. 71 goals for 30 against. Completely smashed it this year. Uh, Studiantes uh, came second. Independiente, uh, third. Newell's fourth. San Lorenzo, River Plate, Boca. Boca dropped quite a bit, actually. It's a bit weird how, how much it changes year on year, because Racing Club came third last year, eighth last uh, this year. So um, we kept it up, we did so well, and we've actually won the Premier Division. So um, very good uh, sort of things on that. If we go look at the player stats this year, uh, goals, we weren't up there for anything. Assists, Alberaccio, of course, he was 15 assists. Clean sheets, Vargas had eight. 
Um, player of the match, Alvaraction, up there with seven. Awards-wise, um, we got best player, went to uh, Rodrigo Gomez, actually. Um, I don't think they've, they've been given out yet, actually. Yeah, they haven't been given out, so I will come back with um, when they actually uh, <laughs> do the awards. So hold on one second. Okay, so now back with uh, the awards now. So best player went to uh, Ignacio Lobo from Brown, uh, their striker, the top goal scorer actually in the league. 25 goals, 13 assists, played very well. Second place was actually Alvarachin. Uh He had a very good season again. 29 appearances, 14 goals, 15 assists from right wing. And then uh, third was Franco Perez from River Plate. So, uh, manager of the year? Yeah, manager of the year. Hasn't come out yet, for some reason. Uh, I just can't be asked to go any further. We'll see who gets manager of the year next time. Um, player of the team of the year? Was this team of the year for 2020? 2020 to 2020, yep. Um, we had one player in that, and that was Acevedo. That's really weird, seeing as we should have had probably Alvaro Ratchet in there. But that's the team of the year. And then top goal scorer went to Ignacio Lobo, obviously, who also won uh, best player. And then Diego Dielas as well. He got, Brown scored a lot of goals this year. Um, but yeah, so that is the sort of league roundup. If we look at our own players, um, Obviously, Alvarachin was the best player. 20 goals, 25 assists all, over all competitions. Ridiculous stuff. Gustavo Boo had a good year again. 18 goals, 15 assists. Borges had a good uh, season. Uh, he's young, so he's still coming, um, doing like developing. 14 goals, 10 assists. Romero as well, 10 goals, 16 assists. Ortiz had a good year. He only started 11, but he got 10 goals in them in that. But he did have a lot of substitute appearances. Uh, Ramuzgo from centre-back got 8 goals. Um, overall, very, very good season for us. Um... But the uh, thing is, I'm going to be leaving uh, San Martin. It's just uh, Argentine Premier Division. It's a, it's a bit. There's so many games. It just I don't know. Got a bit boring for me. So I'm going to be re uh, resigning from uh, San Martin and looking for jobs in Europe because I haven't actually gone to Europe yet. I've, I feel like I need to have a little go in Europe and see what I can do there. So um, I'm just going to resign. I have to resign now. Um, wait. Uh, how's your, how's your contract? That's it. Um, I think, well, I've, I've already gone past this, so I've resigned earlier on, so I'm going to resign anyway, just to show you what happens. Um, but here we go, resigning, new subscriptions, more quits, won the Premier Division, the Copa Libertadores, and finished run runners-up in the Copa Argentina. So then I'll be looking for a new manager. Two, Only two people follow me out, uh, Adrian Dominic and Lucas Bernardi. Now, the thing is, I imagine that it's going to be ridiculous for San Martin. They're going to be, they're just going to lose a lot of people. Um, mainly sort of uh, Borges, La Rosa, Pinera de Silva, Carlos Ortiz, Bassini. They're all going to lose them because a lot of, and they're quite, not for much actually as well, because when I was uh, here, they were only bidding like European clubs, only bidding like 2.5 mil or so. So let's see what happens with them. But anyway, guys, I will be back next time when I find a club. There are a lot of jobs available, I think, now. Um, but I don't know how many I'll, I really want to go for. Um, if we look at the leagues, this is the leagues that are open. Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, England, France, Germany, Greece, Holland, Hong Kong, Mexico, Peru, Portugal, South Africa, Spain, United States, and Uruguay. So I'm going to be adding in probably some more European nations, uh, taking out maybe a few of the South American ones, maybe take out Argentina. But... Yeah, let's see what happens next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys next time.